Good morning, so today is Saturday, January in Los Angeles, and we are going on an adventure today. It is beautiful outside, so today's the day. We're heading to Palos Verdes to check out Wayfarer's Chapel, which has been on my bucket list for such a long time, so I'm super excited, and I'm gonna take you along with me. Palos Verdes is located about an hour south of Los Angeles and is the perfect getaway from the city. It's well known for its unreal ocean and city views, rugged cliffs, and beaches. Little fun fact, the first time I ever came to PV was in college on a spring break with my mom. We first stopped to get some poke bowls along the way at King Poke, which were delicious. Also, I love poke, but I kind of have to chill because I think I got mercury poisoning like my first year out of college, low key, because I was eating it too much. But okay, anyway, after that we kept driving and I'm not even kidding you when I tell you I think these are the best views in Southern California. Like literally just unreal. If you do nothing else, just go for a drive in Palos Verdes. It is absolutely stunning, especially on a warm day, it's the best. made it to the church and it is stunning like like everything I imagined it would be and, and more it's so beautiful Wayfarer's Chapel is an iconic glass chapel designed by Lloyd Wright son of the legendary Frank Lloyd Wright and it is truly a masterpiece they offer weekly prayer on Wednesdays and a sermon on Sundays you can also have special events like your wedding here the chapel is open to the public every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. they just reopened January 2024 if there is a private service going on you can still walk around the gardens and wait for the private event to be over We got really lucky when we came here and there were no special events going on so we spent about an hour exploring the chapel and the grounds and also admiring the unreal view you get of the bluffs. In general, I just feel like Palos Verdes has a much more relaxed vibe and is such a nice way to get out of the city for a day. After Wayfarer's Chapel, we drove to Terranea and now let me put you onto a little local secret. You can park here for free on the street right before you get to the Hotel Valet. Terranea Resort is a five-star luxury coastal retreat with world-class amenities, oceanfront views, and unreal service. They also have these little villas that we were able to walk around and just admire. From the street parking, you can make your way down to the the coast by walking through the parking lot and then turn right when you see the start of the golf course. There are some really nice walking trails that are accessible to the public and also give you a little preview of Terranea. Side note, I actually got to stay at Terranea in 2018 for a retreat with my previous job and it was incredible. I even think it was like raining the entire time but the amenities in the rooms literally made me feel like royalty so I'm hoping to come back soon. Stay tuned. The water is so blue it's insane. We walked all the way down to the water. Also, they offer group experiences on this beach like kayaking, archery, tide pooling, snorkeling, and lots more, which you can book for things like corporate events, birthdays, bachelor parties. I didn't do too much exploring this time, but I did see people climbing the bluffs and walking over them, so I'm very curious about what's back there. I'll have to check it out next time. And I highly recommend you check out Palos Verdes next time you need to escape the city. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I am back home now. I literally had the best time. The weather was perfect. I am exhausted though from like being out in the sun all day. So I'm super excited to eat dinner and go to bed early. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure and I can't wait for the next one. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more.